Hey guys, it's Lisa, and today I'm gonna do some favorites. Some of these I have just discovered and I feel so strongly about it, I want to tell you. I also have a bag of disappointments, which I really don't usually like to do, but it's like sometimes when I show you things like on my Friday video and then I use them and they're not that great, it's like I want to apologize. <laughs> so let's, let's start with the good stuff first. And I've just got it all down here in no particular order, but these are things that when I use them, I think to myself, I need to tell them how much I love this. It's not that I just sat down and started trying to think about favorites. Okay, first and foremost, my tanner. Remember a couple of weeks ago when I was talking to you about self tanners and how much I hate them, and I do still hate them, but when it gets about this time, every year I break down and I do it. So one of my friends was saying, don't forget the Jergens Natural Glow Gradual Tanner that it gives a great natural color. I was in Ulta and Ulta used to carry this and now they don't carry it anymore. So at that time I thought, well, I don't know if I'm gonna feel like stopping by Walgreens or whatever. So let me go ahead and just pick up a gradual tanner here and give it a try. And I always, you know, ask the girls which ones are the best sellers. I'm the kind of person that when someone says, can I help you? I say, yes, <laughs> yes, you can help me. So the one I got is the Tan Lux, the Gradual Radiance. I can't lie, that's what got me. Illuminating and Rejuvenating Gradual Tan Lotion. I have used this brand before in the past and it was the drops. And I know a lot of people love to do that. They love to put the drops in with their just regular moisturizer and I have done that. To me, it is not as good. It's hard to regulate how much lotion. I mean, I guess you could do two drops for one pump or something like that, but I found that it still left me kind of blotchy and streaky. It almost left me with a little bit more than I wanted, so I was not in the market for that, so I wanted to try a real gradual tanner. Well, on the way home, I thought, you know, I'm just going to stop by Walgreens and just see if they even still carry this. So I got the Jergens Natural Glow Gradually Creates Flawless Natural Looking Color. And I did get medium to deep. And this has coconut oil in it. And I don't know if this had like a shade range, which is interesting. Okay, here is the kicker. Both of these are really similar when it comes to consistency. They're very watery. Like even this one, if you open it like this, it's just gonna come out. So that is one thing I noticed right off the bat that they're both like really, really liquidy. Then, and I've been really paying attention, I would say that the scent is very, very similar. Okay, that's basically nothing on that one. I was gonna say neither one of them is memorable as far as when I was putting it on. Okay, this does have more of a scent and it is more Jergens. It's just a lotion scent. It isn't really necessarily self-tanner scent at all. I have been using these for the whole time. So think back to every video, every try-on haul you have seen. I have never not once not put Jergens on this side, and I mean the whole way down, my chest and everything, which <laughs> How ironic that I would have one arm and one shoulder covered in this video featuring this. I'll put a picture up here of some sort so you can see both sides. Or you could watch my Zara video that I did yesterday. I will post it up here. Matter of fact, this is from Zara. My legs are so sore, you guys, from going up and down the stairs and from bending over, getting the cameras right and everything. I did that whole video yesterday and I had a blast doing it. Those are my favorite videos, like the really fun, styling ones. So I hope you saw it and I hope you enjoyed it. Anyway, so I put this on my right side, this on my left side every single time. Now I don't do it every day, twice a day or anything. I mostly just do this when I get out of the shower. So it's every day to every other day. And I think only one time did I do it in the morning. I just don't like that. I just don't like to feel like I've got something like this on during the day. Here are the negatives. In the morning, you will smell a little hint of self-tanner, but it is nothing like if you use a full-on self-tanner, nothing. It doesn't hit you in the face, doesn't make you sick. It's nothing like the full-on self-tanners. Does it stain my sheets? Yes. 
Yes, it's on my sheets. And what gets me is I wear full pajamas. I even tuck my pajamas in my Barefoot Dream socks. And somehow it has still gone through my pajamas and gotten on my sheets, but it comes out. It washes right out. So it's just something, you know how I always say you gotta suck it up, pick your sacrifice. You can either sacrifice your sheets and a little bit of inconvenience for having color on your skin that makes you look more youthful, vibrant. I think it makes you feel better. I think it's a mental thing to see a little bit of color on your skin. And with me doing what I do, there's no denying that makeup and clothes and everything look better with a little bit of color in your skin. Here is a big added bonus that I have noticed about these. I have not really noticed a massive amount of catching on my dark spots, like age spots and things like that. Now I exfoliate, but I exfoliate every time I take a shower. In the past, when I have tried to use a regular tanner, it's still really caught on those. I honestly think you guys, I don't know if you could tell a difference in the color. I'll have to put the price difference. I'm sure this was much more expensive than this. And let's see, 250 milliliters, 221 milliliters. There is a little bit less in this one, seven and a half ounces versus basically eight and a half ounces. But if you're someone that you know you like higher end products or you just happen to be at Ulta, I'd pick this up. If you're at the grocery store or at Walmart or CVS, I would pick this one up. I will use them both. And if I had to say which one smells the most in the morning, because I will like smell each hand, I would say this one has a little bit, I mean like 10% more scent than the other one. So all in all, it has been a great success. I'm so glad that it didn't end up like my drugstore shampoo that I really shook me. I'll put that video up here. So couldn't wait to tell you about those. I'll try to be faster from now on. This is the Amica Undone. I see why people love this. I've got a few hair products, but I don't wanna get deep into the hair products because that is a separate video. It's gonna be one for products that are not good and one for products that I love. This will be in the products that I love. It is just fabulous. It is not crunchy, crispy, but it gives you volume and it just it smells good it doesn't make you feel like you just have to wash your hair the next day no matter what it's just really good and it's i mean it, i'm not surprised because a lot of people love that okay here are some really surprising things let me just get them all out here the ones that surprise me the most this one surprised me but i'm not I mean, I like e.l.f. products basically, but this Halo Glow liquid filter, it's just as good as Charlotte Tilbury's. It might be better. I think it's less oily. I think it might be better for normal to oily skin and it may, may be better for the summer. I have just loved it. The color I ended up keeping, I gave the other one to Brooke, is Shade 2 Fair Light. I think I actually got that mixed up when I showed you. I think I thought Fairlight was the pinker one. I ended up keeping the more yellow one. Bottom line, this is the one I like and it is Fairlight. So keep that in mind when you're looking at them. You'll probably have to order them. That's why I ordered two colors. It's not only the depth of the shade, it's the tone also but I love that. There's no need to get the Charlotte Tilbury if you have that, in my opinion. This is probably the biggest shocker of all, and I have to thank Sam Sherman. I'll put her channel down below. I think she just says flat out oily skin. She really battles it. I'm not someone who battles it as much as some, probably because I'm older, but she was using this, and she just went on and on about it, about how well it kept her makeup. It's the Wet n Wild 5-in-1 Essence Prime liquid. Smooths, conditions, refines, pores, balances, and prolongs makeup. Okay, this is very classic. The cap has already broken off. That is part of drugstore cheap products. You're not going to get the same quality packaging, but sometimes it doesn't matter. Another thing that I would say I'm not crazy about, you can't even squeeze it out. You have to like shake it out. It's very liquidy. You do have to shake it. There probably is some type of powders or something in here but you just kind of get some out like that and then I press it on my face and then let it dry for a few minutes and 
You guys, you know that's gonna freak me out, hold on. Okay, I was just thinking when it was on my hands that Samantha said that sometimes it's even too oil controlling that she doesn't like using it underneath a foundation that is meant to be oil controlled too. Like for instance, a lot of times when I use Estee Lauder Double Wear or something that I know dries right down, I can use like a moisturizer underneath it. So you know if you're oily how to balance those things but I think it's worth a try. I even bought the powder, which I would say is pretty good too. I mean, it's a white powder though, so just be warned, but this is what I would try first. Then, you guys, what a shocker with these. Now, I'm not sure if this is a new formulation or just a new package. Either way, this is all I've been wearing since I got them. Like I haven't even tried the Chanel foundation I just got. I haven't been wearing the Mario or the newest KVD. I love these. And if I had to tell you a color, I don't know which one I would say. I got the N3 Neutral Light Medium and the W4 Warm Light Medium and I mix them. One pump of each and I mix them on my hand and then I apply it to my face and then go in with my just Eco Tools sponge. And these with this, just amazing. Amazing. So pretty. I know I've tried this in the past. I think I probably had the shade wrong because the word suntan is coming to mind when I think of that little bottle. But that just goes to show you how just the pump can change if you use something or not. Because I'm not attracted to something that I have to pour out. I just suck it up with Estee Lauder because it's worth it. But these, wow, just amazing. Love it. Another just happy surprise were these Ulta lipsticks. They are so good. Now, I'm not saying they're Tom Ford or anything else, but like this one, this really, really nude one, 384, I have used this so many times to put in the center and lighten up another lipstick. It's just a good consistency, and this color, which is the pink, this is 388, I believe. It's a good pink. So what are we noticing here? not a lot of pigment, but it's not patchy. It would be really good for those of you that don't like a lot of lipstick, but you do want a little something, but I've really enjoyed them. I think that they're worth the money, especially when you can get that $3.50 coupon off. Another lipstick that I think we all have loved, I've gotten had so many of you say you love it, and that is this Laura Mercier Joy. It's pretty unique. It's just I don't know how to even describe it. It's got a, like a little bit of shimmery in it. It's light. It's just slightly foily. I don't want to put any on until I show you what I'm wearing, but this is worth getting. It would look so good with so many different kind of lip liners. It's just beautiful if you like light colors. This is something, I mean, I cannot believe how much I love this. And it's one of those things where I've just been loving my makeup lately. Not only like when I put it on or when I look in the mirror, but see, I have to look at myself in video and on camera and that's not fun. It really isn't. There is nothing worse than having to edit an entire video where you hate your makeup, or you just, your foundation looks terrible, or you're too oily, or you don't have enough coverage, it's the wrong tone, all of that kind of stuff. So I am pretty picky about things, and this I have loved. And I would have never picked this up if it weren't for Madrid Glow, the makeup artist for Pamela, I believe that is her name. She listed this as one of the things that she had been using, and I love it. It is just so wonderful. It just is the finest mist, like a really light, fresh spray. And with all of these, the primer, the foundation, I'll say I don't use this every time, but when I do, I still love it. I just have been loving my makeup and it's lasted longer and it's looked just glowy enough, but not oily. I love these sunglasses. Blue is probably my favorite and I just find that I love these. They're so cool looking. I just showed you the pink ones. The blue ones are my favorite and then I like the yellow ones and then maybe the pink ones. Maybe I would like a just solid brown. I don't think I've tried that. But the reason I like them is, first of all, they're cheap, so you don't have to worry about them. Second of all, they're light. I have nose issues with heavy sunglasses, I'm, and I know it's because I've just got a bony nose. So I like light sunglasses as far as weight. 
I like light sunglasses as far as the lens, and I love sunglasses that do like this. So it's just been a win, win, win. I have very expensive sunglasses, and it just seems like if I can wear these, I pick these up and I go with it. This is something I just bought. I actually showed it to you in my Friday video. I'll link that up here, and it was in the part that I lost, the clip that I lost. Remember when I showed you that I had a little sample of the Moroccan oil shimmer oil? I used all of that. I think that one sample lasted me about three times, and I went and purchased it at Sephora. It is so pretty. My one complaint, you know, I'm funny about stuff like this, is I wish it had a pump or some other method besides the dropper, but I'm gonna have to get over it. It looks like it would be like so dark and so shimmery, but it's really not. It's just beautiful, shimmering body oil, and it's scented, lightly scented. Remember back when I was going through my fragrance extravaganza, I told you that sometimes I just want to smell good. I don't necessarily want to smell like a fragrance, but if someone were to be around me, sit beside me, I want to just smell good. That's what this will do. It's not like you put on Moroccan oil body spray, which I do like, or, you know, the lotion or anything else, which I do like, but it just leaves you lightly scented and it gives you that kind of vibe like you tried. You know what I mean? I also, if you don't like a scented one like that, I do still like the OC. That is the most velvety, beautiful body oil. That's something I use more at night mixed in with my lotion. Speaking of fragrance, I will probably, you know, be featuring more fragrances. You know, it's weird. Most people are drawn to fragrances in the wintertime, and I, I understand because you get that vibey, warm, smoky, or whatever, you know, scent and variation a lot more in the winter and it's easier to wear heavier scents because it's just cool and brisk and it's not humid but the summertime is when I I think it's when your skin's more exposed that maybe that's what makes me think about it but this one I have told you about it before by Rosie Jane I believe it's Maddie this smells like the beach if you like Bobbi Brown Beach, it's not coconutty. It is a little bit like copper tone specifically, not Hawaiian Tropic, not Banana Boat, but copper tone is what it reminds me of. And I think it's the Jasmine. Like this smells like my childhood. Like when I smell this, I just put myself right back there. My grandmother has brought a picnic. It's got applesauce. It's got fried chicken, sweet tea in a big jug. What else? Maybe some green beans. I mean, this takes me back. It's the best. I feel so happy. It's right there with Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. Okay, speaking of body bronzing, body oil, all of that good stuff, I think I showed you this in a recent video. I'm not sure which one it was, which I can't remember, but I remember showing you that I had hit pan on this. I love it. It's just hard to beat. I mean, I do still love the Laura Geller, but it did make me mad when I tried to order it, I think, four times and it came broken and I don't even know if I got my money back. Honestly, you guys, they wore me out. They wore me down to where I didn't even care if I got my money back. I just never wanted to think about it again. So I did order a small one from QVC, but I think this one gives you more coverage. The other one might give you more glow. So both of them I would recommend. This, you're going to be like, stop showing me that palette, but I can't. I wish I could just send every one of you this palette. This highlighter and this blush, which you probably can get these separate. I know you can get the blush separate. Uh, Desert Orchid Sunset Nectar is the highlighter. I've got it on today. I wear it all the time. I mean, it is just beautiful, beautiful. So this palette is just a winner. Okay, OPI Funny Bunny. I had them paint my nails when I went to go get a manicure and a pedicure. I asked for Funny Bunny. She put three coats on. It was like I wanted to stop her, but I thought, you know, I'll go ahead and let her try three coats. I prefer two. I don't think it's too streaky and it's not quite as chiclety white looking, but I love Funny Bunny. I think that's a good one. Matter of fact, the lady that was sitting beside me getting a pedicure asked me what I had on my nails and it was where I had painted two coats. So I really do love that. And I'm gonna save my most surprising product to last. This is something I have had, you guys, I have had this lipstick since I was filming in that room 
facing that direction. I don't know if you remember, and I got it, and I didn't think much of it. And then so many of you started telling me I needed to try this lipstick. And I was thinking, I've tried it. I don't, I didn't find anything that great about it. But yesterday I dug it out of my closet in here where I keep things I don't want to get rid of, but they're not my everydays. And it's MAC. Thanks. It's MAC. And I wore it yesterday in my Zara video and I'm wearing it today. Now, when you look at that, you wouldn't think this would be anything I would like that much. Even when I swatch it, it doesn't even look like anything that would shake me up. Here's the thing. I might have swatched it and decided I didn't like it, but if it was still here, I must have liked it somewhat. But it's the consistency. It is the MAC Luster Glass Lipstick. So therefore, it's glossy and shiny not really see-through, but not super opaque. And see how it has like some, not really duochrome, but it has like a little bit of a pearl underneath. It is so pretty. Yesterday, I just wore this with my lip liner, my collaboration with Christian Audette. You guys, this lip liner is just so good. I mean, it is hard to beat. It's a little bit darker than ideal and it lasts forever. So that's what I have on today. But today I did put a little bit of MAC Myth in the center. It just cracks me up when I think about MAC Myth because I remember when this was like so light. If you wore MAC Myth, it was just weird, you know, by itself because we thought it was so light. And now it's like, it's pink. It's not even that light. I think Creme de Nude is my favorite really light one. Next to the last for makeup is I've been loving I have to say this in general, and then it's this product. I have really enjoyed thinner brows. I've plucked them a little bit thinner and more straight. I think it looks better on me. And I have enjoyed going back to a blonde or a taupe brow pencil. Some things you don't even realize that you've done, but I feel like I had gone darker and darker and darker and darker. And especially, I think I went darker after I, you know, had done the microblading years ago but I've just really enjoyed going back to the lighter pencils. And this is one I just, it's really unique, partly because of the applicator, but it is a very smooth kind of a waxy consistency. So you don't have to like, it didn't like doing your brows with a stick and it brushes out really well with this fabulous little kabuki. And you just brush it right into your brow and it just is beautiful. And then my favorite brow gel has been the Too Faced. So this has been like one of those things that every time I use it, I like it. The Mario palette, the ethereal eyes. This is one, when I first got it, I loved it, I loved it. And then, I didn't like it that much. I'm back to loving it. I have it on today. Look at that shade on my lid. I hope that it's coming through. It's this one. I mean, there's something fabulous about that shade. And I was trying to think this morning when I knew I was gonna be telling you about it, what is it that I like about this palette? I think it's that it's just in between a cool tone and a warm tone palette because you have this color that is more warm tone. So sometimes I start off with that color in the crease and I can kind of work that area. But like today I started with that color in the crease and I kind of worked more like this, I think. It's just a good palette. It's one of those that when I use it, I like it. I've learned I need to stick with that color. That color's my favorite. That's probably why I like the whole palette. Okay, last but not least on the things that I'm loving, this, I don't even know, have I shown you guys this? The Stands Out Sponge. I am on their PR list. You know, they sent me their sponge, which I had already purchased like twice. And I do think that everyone should try that. It is definitely a different experience. But she sent me this, the owner of the company. And I was thinking, you know, a makeup remover cloth. You know, I've been here. I've done this so many times. They never work for me. It's like a thing that works for everybody but me. She said, I love to get it really wet with really hot water. So I thought, well, what the heck? I washed them first. Of course, no fabric softener, dried them. And I wet the whole thing. And you guys, this sucker, you just wet it, wring it out, and you just put it on your face, lightly scrub and everything comes off. Nothing has ever worked like this. My caked on lipstick, my caked on eyeliner and mascara, everything comes off. I mean, it was such a miracle the first time I remember talking to John about it. And then I went over my face with like Bioderma or something with a cotton pad and there was 
basically nothing left. Now you're probably wondering about the white ones that I love so much that look like a baby's diaper. Well, I thought maybe I didn't give those a chance. So I did the same thing with that. I wet it the whole thing really well, hot water, wrang it out, but not, you know, all the way. And it didn't remove everything like this did. But <laughs> here's the kicker. I still have to have that one for after I wash my face. To dry my face off, that one exfoliates like nothing else. It gets every little remnant. Say, you know, like, like use this at night to take off my makeup. And then in the morning, I wash my face. I always have that white towel there to dry it and to like really get in like right there and around my nose and everything. And you'll see that there are still remnants of a little bit of makeup and just, you know, things that you leave behind or get on your skin during the night or whatever. So I need both of them now. But if you're looking for a makeup remover towel, this blows the makeup eraser away. I could not get into those, but this is just phenomenal. Okay, let's get into some disappointments. This is a funny one. This candle, these whole candles, I had a set that I bought. You guys probably remember this. It was a beautiful little set and I'll be honest, the color of them is the reason I bought them. They're not that great. Veluspa candles are just not my favorites. This physician's formula, it just was like blah. It did not live up to what I thought it would be. It is just a highlight, but it's not as good as many, many, many other highlights. Oh my gosh. Okay, these are terrible, terrible. The Sephora brand lipsticks. One, I have not even opened. You know what? I'll probably take these to my niece who is almost nine because that's who they're appropriate for, really. I mean, it just was like pitiful. Okay, <laughs> and I mean it. This is e.l.f. It's the camo color correction. I mean, it was just like blah. It did not compete with the NARS or the Armani for sure, but it was worth trying. Okay, this mascara. Wow, this mascara caused some hype, didn't it? And when I first tried it, you probably remember when I first tried it, it's the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift, and it has this crazy wand. In theory, I thought I was going to love this because I thought I was gonna be able to put it on and then spread it out. So it's definitely not the worst mascara I've ever tried, but it does not compete with my oversized Bambi eyes or whatever. It's like, I don't even want it. You know what I mean? It's like not that good. Ooh, okay, this is Spliff Ultra Matte Gel Liner from Melt. I like the color of this, but it's too goopy. I mean, it's like somebody just put a spoonful of chocolate pudding in here. It is like so yucky that it gets all over your brush, it's hard to control, and it's not opaque enough. So sorry if you got this and you don't like it. Actually, there were a couple suggestions from that that same makeup artist, Madrid Glow, that I didn't care for, which is going to happen. That's why I like getting all that stuff, trying it and telling you so you don't have to spend the money on it. This is the Dermalogica Eye Serum. I believe it's the vitamin C. If you're supposed to use vitamin C in the morning, then I'm gonna be putting on makeup. This balls up under your makeup. Now I had a friend tell me that she liked to put it on, let it sink in and then remove it. And I'm just, I'm not gonna do that. So this was a fail for me. I'm probably gonna give it to Brooke because she doesn't wear makeup on most days. This is the Pore Professional Primer. I mean, I've tried this a long time ago, but I'm just not a pore primer person. I did buy that Tarte one that Tati uses again to try. I still haven't even used it. That's how excited I am. But she just seems to like it so much. I'm like, and sometimes you do have to try things a couple of times to like get it. But this one, I just didn't like. And then the last thing that I thought was not that great is this unrestricted matte balm from NARS. And I guess it's, you know, what it's supposed to be very blah, like blah, like less than your lips, but better. It's your lips, but worse. <laughs> I crack myself up, you guys. Okay, just don't get it. It's just not that good. I can't imagine. I was thinking, you know, I had this fantasy that it was going to blend right into my liner and just create this fabulous lip, but it was just, matter of fact, my niece might get this one too. And then last but not least, my Dyson Air Wrap. This has been the best way for me to style my layers, 
and I will do a video soon. I'll show you how I do my bangs and everything, but I've been using this and Velcro rollers. Okay, and then for my outfit of the day, it's this Zara two-piece set. I did size up to a medium and probably would have been better off with a small. I want to do a video soon on how to dress younger and get away with it. And I have some tips for those of you that are like me and when you're getting dressed, you really just don't even think about how old you are and then someone else reminds you. So I have some tips that I use that enable me to wear what I want to wear, no matter my age, but do it in a way that goes with my style and my whole vibe. So if you're interested in that video, please let me know down below. I have on my Javiana flip-flops and then this two-piece set that is also available, you know, separate. So that's, I'm going to leave that there because I have so many good tips. I don't want to waste them. I want to put them in a video. Okay, and for accessories, these have been a favorite too. These are smaller than the smaller favorite hoops from Sheila Fajal. These are the petite favorite hoops, and these are in the polished. And sometimes I just feel like having a smaller hoop, but it still gives you that same vibe. This is a new ring that I showed you in my Friday video that got cut out, but it is a beautiful horse ring. You know, I like lions and tigers and all that kind of stuff. I saw this on the Kendra Scott website. I had been watching Tati and she said that her jewelry was from Kendra Scott. I was like, oh, let me go over there and see what Kendra Scott's got on their website. And I saw this and I loved it. These are the Jenny Bird bangles. You guys, I'm doing a little experiment. I have not taken these off in days. I have taken showers in this, put my lotion on with this. If they turn, they turn. I just, I'm just curious how long they will last with me doing that. And I have been sleeping with them and everything and I love them. So that has been a winner. I've got on my Rolex watch. It's an Oyster Perpetual and it's the Tiffany Blue face. You know my fragrance. And that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope that you saw something that you want to try and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.